Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. So next we go to the measure of location. Measure of location tell where a specific data values fall within the data set or its relative position in comparison with other data values. Measure of location we have three types. Quartage, eh, which are quartage, di divide data set into four equal parts, and decage, divide data set into ten equal parts, percentage, divide data set into hundred equal parts. So for this topic, we go to the quartage only. Quartai, what is quartiles? Quartiles are separated into first quartile, Q1, known as Q1, second quartile, known as Q2, and third quartile, known as Q3. Where is Q1? Q1 is the one-fourth value in the data set. The position of Q1 equals to n plus 1 over for the position of Q1. It means 25% of all the observation is less than Q1 and another 70% is more than Q1. This is the interpretation of Q1. Q2 is the median value. Position of Q2 equals to 2n plus 1 over 4. We simplify n plus 1 over 2. This is known as median. Okay, next, Q3 is the third over 3 over 4 value in the data set. Position of Q3 equals to 3 n plus 1 over 4. The inter interpretation of Q3 is 75% of all the observation is less than Q3 and another 25% is more than Q3. For, un for ungrouped data, this is step 1. Step 1, arrange the data according to ascending order. Step 2, position of Q1 is n plus 4. Position of Q3 is 3 times n plus 1 over 4. Then last, step 3. Find Q1 and Q3. We go to the example. Find Q1, Q2 and Q3 for the following data. 88, 71, 60, 40, 78, 82, 80, and 59. The solution is step 1. This is step 1. Rearrange the data into ascending order, which are 44, 59, 60, 71, 76, 80, 82, 88. N equals to 8. The number of data equals to 8. So, first position of Q1. Eh? Step 2. We have to find the position of Q1 first. Q1 equals to n plus 1 over 4. So, 8 plus 1 over 4 equals to 2.25. 2.25. The location is 1, 2. This is location for 2.25. So, how to calculate the Q1? Q1 equals to 59, which is lower value, plus the decimal value, decimal value, times upper value, minus lower value, which is 59 plus 0 0.25 times 60 minus 59. We got 59.25. This is a value for Q1. 
next position of Q2. Q2 known as a median. 8 plus 1 over 2. N plus 1 over 2. So we got 4.5. Where is 4.5 location? 1, 2, 3, 4. This is 4. And this is location 4.5. Between 71 and 76. So the value of Q2, 71 plus 76 over 2. We got 73.5. Next, the Q3. First of all, where is position of Q3? Q3, we use the formula 3 plus 3 times n plus 1 over 4. So 3 times 8 plus 1 over 4 equals to 6.75. Where is 6.75? 6 6.75 between 80 and 82. So the value of Q3 is lower value plus decimal value times upper value minus lower value. Which are 80 plus 0.75 times 82 minus 80 we got 80.5 value for 3 q3 okay Next, for group data step one find the cumulative frequency step two position of q1 is Cumulative frequency over 4 and position of Q3 is 3 times cumulative frequency over 4. And last, step 3, find the Q1 which of, we use formula for Q1 and this is formula for Q3. Where is? The uh, uh, summation of F is total frequency equals to N. LQ1, lower class boundary of the lower quartile class. FQ1, frequency of the lower quartile class. Cumulative summation of FQ1 minus 1, cumulative frequency before the lower quartile class. LQ3, lower class boundary of the upper quarter class. Cumulative FQ3 minus 1 cum equals to cumulative frequency before the upper quarter class. Okay. We go to the uh, example 9. The mark score of 44 students in a statistics examination are shown in the table below. Find the lower quartile and upper quartile. Hence, give your comment. So, this is the first table. Marks and number of students. And then you must uh, define the class boundary. And the cumulative frequency, the data. So, how to find the cumulative frequency? 2, 2. 2 plus 4 equals to 6. 6 plus 8 equals to 14. 14 plus 14 equals to 28. 28 plus 10 equals to 38. 38 plus 5 equals to 43. And then last 43 plus 1 equals to 44. The class boundary. How to find the class boundary? The lower boundary 30 is 29.5. The upper boundary 39.5. Okay. So, 
how to find the lower quartile Q1 and upper quartile Q3. Okay. So, for Q1, where is position of Q1? First quartile. This is position of Q1. Q1 equals to cumulative frequency over 4. We got 11. Where is 11? 11 here. In here. In class boundary here. So, what is Q1? Q1 is lower boundary plus 11. 11 cumulative F over 4 minus 6. The cumulative frequency before, where is? 6 over 8. The frequency of class boundary times C. C is the width of class boundary. So 10. How to get 10? 59. 59.5 minus 49.5. We got 10. Okay, remember 11 is the cumulative frequency over 4 minus C. C is cumulative frequency before the class over 8. 8 is frequency of the class times C. C width of class. And then we substitute the value. We got 55.75. Next. What is upper quartile? Or third quartile? Okay. First step. Where is position of Q3? Q3, we use formula 3 cumulative frequency over 4. We got 33. Where is 33? 33, 33 in the class here. 70 to 79. Okay. So, substitute into formula of Q3. Q3 equals to 69.5. Eh, which is lower boundary plus 33. 33. 33 is cumulative frequency over 4, position of Q3, minus 28. 28 is cumulative frequency before, here, over 10. 10 is the frequency of the class times C, width of class. We got 74.5. So the command is For the lower quartile, the command is 25% of the student's marks is less than 55.75 and another 75% 75% marks is more than 55.75. For the position for the upper quartile, the comment is 75% of the student mark is less than 74.5 and another 25% mark more than 74.5. Okay, that's all for today.